My father had a brain tumor. I'm having headaches. Could it be a brain tumor? Excellent question. Headaches uh, are frequently of concern to people that they might have a brain tumor. Oh, one bad thing, there does seem to be a slight increase in family history. So if there's somebody in your family that's had a brain tumor, that increases the chances slightly, but ever so slightly. Let's talk about different headaches and what type of pain they have. Uh, number one is a tension headache. That's with stress and I've got tension all the time. It's usually a band around the head. Sinus headaches are pressure and fullness around the bridge of the nose. Uh, people that have migraine headaches, uh, they frequently can tell when the headache is coming on and it's a pounding, head. classically one side of the head or the other side of the head. It can switch back and forth, but it's usually one side, doesn't have to be, but it usually is a throbbing headache. Last 72 hours, you have to go to bed get that headache to go away unless you use some of the newer medications that can help get rid of the headaches called sumatriptan agonist, imitrex, you know of Zomeg, there are other great, Maxalt, other good medications for that. And then the brain tumor headache, that's a constant headache. It's a headache that doesn't seem to go away. It's always there. It gradually worsens. You had this headache three or four weeks ago and you're having the headache now. If you start getting any neurologic symptoms, numbness anywhere, or double vision, or that headache just doesn't go away, you have to see your doctor and they'll get special tests. And the chances are they'll tell you, sorry, no brain tumor, or boy, am I glad that there's no brain tumor. So if you've got headaches that persist, see your doctor and get that diagnosis made.